welcome to Callum's Corner. Today we are going to watch a video together. I'm very excited about this because one of you guys has submitted a video for me to watch and react to. Now, initially I was a little bit reluctant to do this because the old school reaction videos haven't always gone terribly well for me. What the... Oh, it's poo. Oh, that can't be real poo. <coughs> However, I've decided to push through it in this case because I've watched about the first 30 seconds of this video and it is definitely something we need to watch together and establish just what the hell is going on. So, the video we're going to be watching is called Blue Moon, a Therian documentary. Now, if you don't know what Therian means, don't feel bad. Even I had to Google it. Let me clarify it for you. A Therian is someone who identifies as a non-human earthen animal, either spiritually or psychologically. So these are people who actually think they're animals. People who identify as animals. It's like furries, but turbocharged. Christ. Right, let's get stuck into it. Let's try and find out what the hell is going on. Let's watch this documentary together. I definitely think that a lot of people, de uh, I, I don't want to say dehumanize, but definitely like put them on a lower level than humans. They, they, like... think, they think of animals. Well, that's a strong start, isn't it? I mean, obviously, here they're starting to explain the details behind their theory. However, it's a very strong start. I mean, they sound even more mental than vegans already, dehumanizing an animal. I mean, can you imagine doing that to an animal, dehumanizing it, a creature that isn't actually a human? Throughout my life, um, my dogs do feel the same emotions as I do. Yeah, that makes perfect sense, doesn't it? Dogs and humans, exactly the same emotionally. I mean, don't get me wrong, obviously a dog can feel happy and a human can feel happy, but to say they're a same, I mean, it does feel like a stretch to me. Although I suppose when I do see my mates who I haven't seen for a while, I do feel compelled to greet them by sniffing my ass. Or when I've had a particularly pleasant poo, I do feel the need to lick the feces off my own anus. I mean, I don't know, it feels like a stretch to me to say a human and a dog are exactly the same emotionally. I think we kind of disprove that, you know, cultural thing where only humans have souls because, I mean, a lot of us feel that we have the souls of, like, different animals. Yeah, proven. That, proven. That is what they've done there. That group of people have proven that point because that is what constitutes proven, isn't it? You know, finding seven other people who share the same mental, mental, chicken oriental beliefs as you. That is what means something is proven. Oh my god, the pack's on the move, the pack is on the move. I love this, did you see that? They've actually got little fake tails that they're wearing and they're barking. They're walking through the woods and they're barking. Which actually, I guess, just makes good sense because, you know, they're a pack of wolves and there could be other packs of wolves and stuff in the woods and if they come across each other, you know, shit is going to kick off in that situation, isn't it? So, actually, just good sense. I mean, that is practically indistinguishable from a normal wolf pack. In fact, I challenge anyone to, to shut their eyes, listen to that, and listen to a normal wolf pack and tell me which one is real. I mean, you couldn't do it. You just couldn't do it. They're so realistic. Kind of like those growls and barks and things were kind of interpreted from a normal working wolf pack that's, that's kind of like present now. Um, so we kind of integrated that into our, uh, our own rules and our own set beliefs and our own way of kind of showing dominance and submission and things like that. See, point proven. This is technical. This isn't play, you know. This isn't a bunch of misfits just hanging out in the woods pretending to be animals. This is scientific. I mean, they're wolves, all right? These are wolves. Like the close mouth girl is to really just kind of get someone's attention quickly. And what you do is obviously you have your mouth closed and you would do a growl from the throat or from the diaphragm, like... See, it works. I mean, that is definitely the quickest way to get someone's attention, growl at them like a wolf. You know, why would you use your voice? Why would you use your words and instantly explain what you need? The quickest way to get someone's attention is to growl at them. And like, you can crinkle up your nose, um, and like furrow your eyebrows kind of like a mmm, like what in the world are you doing? There's more to it, it's not just growling, there's facial expressions as well, so maybe you want to try this together now. Uh, mm. They're angry at you and you're like, I'm sorry, you whimper. So, so do you want to demonstrate that you and me? Okay. 
I'm so glad they demonstrated that, the pair of them there. I definitely wouldn't have understood that concept otherwise. <laughs> Again, definitely better than saying the word sorry. If I ever annoy someone, you know, do something bad to them, I'm definitely going to whimper at them like a dog from now on. It just says so much more than actual words. Wolves in the wild will rub their scent over another wolf to show that they're dominant of them. It's an activity that only elfas do, and if not elfas do it, we're going to probably get mad at you. So we're going to show it to you so that if you see it, you yeah, don't ever do it. But yeah. So things have escalated now. Are they actually going to do this? Are these girls actually going to rub themselves together to try and transfer their scent to each other? Like, it happens sometimes on accident, Yeah, but sometimes you do it on accident, but, you know. Because if you're walking by someone. Yeah, but it just means, like, that you're marking that person as yours, like, and it's... it's pack. Yeah, as you're part of your pack, and whereas the alphas are the ones that are running the pack, they should be the only ones that are marking people. I mean, you don't want to do it. You don't want to do it. You know? Part of human God, did you see that? That little defiant kind of flick at the end after they rubbed themselves on each other. I've got to watch that again. Let's put that on again. Um, Therian means part of human. Even better the second time. If you're more shifty, that means that um, you're more likely to act like your stereotype would, or more likely to mental shift. Just because of your surroundings or the people you're around, a lot of people become shifty around us. Oh my god, okay, the action is really hot up now. Did you see that? Did you see that? That one, that, that little air bites that one girl was doing. I mean, feisty little wolf, that one. And again, I must say, you know, take this opportunity to say, very realistic. Because I'm watching it and I'm thinking, am I watching kids pretend to be wolves or am I watching an actual wolf pack doing battle? Super, super realistic. God, oh my God, I'm actually starting to feel a bit sorry for them. I mean, she's what, 15 years old or so? In five years, you know, she's gonna have grown out of all this rubbish. She's gonna have a job or be at college or something. And I do get the feeling she's gonna be a little bit embarrassed about that. Give me our puppy. Right now she's doing a grappling with- Fight, 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 fight. Oh, this is fierce. This is super fierce. You know, don't get me wrong, obviously I'm massively impressed by this incredibly wolf-like combat. The only thing that I've noticed that I would say is that for a group of wolves, sorry, a pack, let's use their correct name, a pack of wolves, uh, they do use their human hands quite a lot whilst fighting. She's a horse serious. Amazing. She's not being very horseish today. Ah yes, that other well-known wolf combat move, sitting on your opponent because you outweigh them. One girl on the bottom, ah, biting out like she's a fierce wolf still. We're all watching the same fight, love. Your mate smashed your back doors and, you know, she's pinned you. She's ground up on you. She's probably rubbed her scent all over you. You know, she's done you all ends up. You've lost. Respect the result. It? Right, yeah, there I was just trying to fight like a wolf. Horse fighting's completely different. Clearly, that's obvious. That's obvious, isn't it? I mean, she was just trying to fight like a wolf. Actually, you know what? That might be my favourite sentence ever. Let's just replay that. I was just trying to fight like a wolf. Horse fighting is completely different. I was just trying to fight like a wolf. Horse fighting is completely different. I mean, you just don't hear phrases like that enough in everyday life. Much with horse fights, it's um, it's a kind of bump up against each yeah, other. Yeah, you of. try to bump up against each other, and um, pretty much with you know, hit them with your hooves. As someone who's never seen two humans pretend to be horses and fight before, that is actually strangely exactly what I was imagining in my mind. You know, just sitting there hitting them with your hooves. They're so strong. And, and body slam. And body slam. They're so strong. Trample. And a lot of times they will back up to their opponent so that they can kick them from behind. Wow, I'm so glad we got a demonstration there. And I can't be alone in thinking that actually, that's probably even more realistic than the wolves fighting, isn't it? Well, shifting for me, um, it, it's definitely not voluntary. For some it is. 
Love the way they're both sitting there with dog collars on them. And I don't really understand why. They're meant to be wolves, aren't they? Wild animals. I've never seen a wolf with a collar on before. However, what you can't argue with is that they do look fierce. And um, my family. So if, say I'm getting um, bullied. Uh, I kind of feel like we've got an explanation there as to what on earth is going on, what is going through these people's minds. Uh, it's basically, he's explained it that loud, isn't he? It happens to him involuntarily. He shifts uh, whenever he's under stress, whenever his family's upset, whenever he's being bullied, basically. And I think what we've got here is a bunch of misfits who get bullied and they're just pretending to be anyone else cause, or anything else because their own life suck at the moment. What I would say to people who feel like this is, it is just a phase, life will get better, and going to the woods and pretending to be a wolf or a horse, having a fight and filming yourself doing it, probably isn't the answer, and it almost definitely will come back to bite you hard later in life, because these guys are gonna have to live with this, being on the internet for the rest of their life, and even I wouldn't wanna do that, and I've got a video of me ranting about the shape of my head online. Anyway, that is where we will leave it. Hopefully you've enjoyed this. If you did, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. I have got all kinds of exciting content coming for you for the next couple of weeks. I've got my vlog, and I've also got my first undercover on Tinder video. Um, and as you can imagine, me undercover, I smashed it. So definitely some stuff to look forward to. Thank you very much if you have made it this far.